Hey. <laughs> okay. As usual, just getting things set up. <laughs> I need to get a stream starting soon. Um, screen. That would probably be uh, for the better. <laughs> Here we go. Man, I really like um, Windows 11's, um, like when you hover over uh, the corner of a screen like this, you get this menu. This menu is great. Uh, I remember back, uh, I used to have a super ultra wide and it was on Windows, it was like barely usable because um, there's no window snapping, like on Linux I can get get it set up so it has rules. So where like, say I start um, <clears throat> my web browser, it can start in a set position um, and a set scale. Uh, so I can have it start like this type of a thing. Or this is probably more accurate to what I have the setup like. So like my main thing would be in the middle. Discord would probably be here and then browser here. So whenever I started those programs, they would just be in those positions. It would be perfect. But when I got to Windows, it's like, I guess we guesstimate what a proper resolution in the middle would be. <laughs> Sometimes I even made background uh, like wallpapers. that were like one color here, one color here, one here. So I could use that as a reference. <laughs> it was it was a nightmare. <laughs> uh, anyway. I was thinking today we will actually move reverser 2 to limbo and then we'll make a new level that takes this one's place and we'll make that one for limbo as well. Um, and I'm thinking it's gonna be like this level, finders keepers, where you just collect things like uh, there's some interesting ramps and stuff uh, and there's just like score objects uh, scattered around the level that you collect I'm thinking that's what we're gonna do today so first of all let's take reverser 2 and put this in limbo and Tournament Heaven. We need to find this one, delete the ray element. And then on Limbo, <clears throat> we add Reverser 2. We position it. Here we go. Then I just need to fix the materials. Like that. There we go. <laughs> A score. <laughs> Another level done. <laughs> okay. Um, so the new level. I'm thinking we'll just... Uh, let's just open balance, I think. We can use that as a base. Uh, save this scene. Okay, so then I would like to open um, <clears throat> the, um, my, my voice feels really bassy. I just recently woke up. <laughs> uh, okay, so single player, we'll just get the bass. <clears throat> oh yeah. Uh, the computer problems. So, I don't know if you remember from yesterday's stream, but Blender just crashed randomly. Um, I noticed later in the evening <clears throat> that other programs and games would just randomly crash. So I talked to my brother about it, and he's thinking it could be that the CPU is just getting old. Um, and that uh, one of the cores or something could be uh, 
just struggling a bit like it needs more uh, power now so uh, we went through and uh, boosted the uh, voltage a little bit and then we uh, like pretty severely underclocked uh, the computer and we just like trying it out I stress tested it overnight and it had like no errors or anything um, so it seems stable now but um, I'm just gonna try using it like this. It's pretty, it's pretty significantly underclocked, so uh, I don't know. I might be dropping frames, but on my end, not on a stream end. Um, but yeah, uh, we're just trying it out, seeing what happens, really. So for this one, okay, wait. Let me let me pull up uh, Krita. Do I not have it pinned yet? That's wild. How is the search so slow though? I never understand that. It's the weirdest thing. Okay. <clears throat> is it just that Unix systems are so much better at that for some reason? Or is it just poor programming on uh, Microsoft's part? Because that's like indexing files and indexing anything really um is always a huge problem on windows for me like if i have a large uh, amount of files or something especially videos it's always a, a big hassle i've never really understood why that is okay so this brush is pretty excessive oh oh cool my <laughs> <laughs> My tablet setup is wonk again. Let me fix the mapping. Uh, it should be monitor one. Too many monitors. There we go. Okay. Um, oh, how would this be to draw with? <laughs> it's kind of fun though. Um, like fire? <laughs> That's gonna be a wild one to draw with. I'll do it. We'll see what, what comes of it. It could be an interesting thing. Okay, so I was thinking maybe we have, um, we have the like start here. Oh, it feels like drawing with a big marker. It's kind of dope. Um, and then. <sighs> Okay, wait, let me draw this like separated here somewhere. So we can have like four platforms. Like that. So this is for heaven, right? And I was thinking it could just be score objects here, right? And then you have a ramp. And then you have a ramp. Score objects, and then a ramp, and a ramp, ramp. <laughs> you get you get the picture, right? So you just have this like four platforms, score objects on all of them. But I'm thinking, where would we start then? And Maybe we just start like this. We're just attached to it. Ooh, we could do something that we've never really done. And I'm, I'm hyping it up more than it should be hyped. <laughs> diagonal, like a diagonal start. So we connect it like that. So we have it like this. Whoa, 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 whoa. That could be cool. So what I wanted to do for um, for uh, for limbo on this uh, was that. We could just be like, oh yeah, we need to, 
<laughs> I'm working on one layer here. Very good idea. So I was thinking maybe we just have different elevations. So it's more like that. I, I, I keep what's the oh, I can't see the tooltip. Uh, I keep forgetting the shortcut to that. That one tool. Could it be like this? Like could that be um, enough? Oh no wait, we have more time as well. So hmm. Okay, what if we then just do like that? And like that. Could that be a thing? So this is the limbo version. Then I feel it's pretty obvious that we will. Uh... Oh, nice. <laughs> Let me just erase this. Okay. So then we, I guess, yeah, the thing, it's like the obvious move here then, right? Is that we do something like this for health. Yeah. So it starts flat, very basic. And then we just pump it up more. It's going to be really interesting to figure out just how these ramps, oh, oops, how these ramps up will work, like to be able to make it up here. And uh, will the down ramps even be a thing? Maybe there's nothing here, even. We just have ramp up on that that one. And then on heaven, I mean, we will have it, but... Man, okay, I have to say, I like, I like this. This brush is dope. <laughs> it's really fun to draw with, because, like, you can't do details. Wait, let's draw a little dude. I've been drawing these for years now. It's just like the Pac-Man ghosts, but they're just screaming <laughs> and they have legs and arms. Just like deranged creatures. <laughs> Why do I like drawing them so much? It's so bizarre. I really, oh my god, it's so long ago now. It was like, maybe it's like six years or seven years ago that I draw one the first time. It was just an evening and I thought it would be funny to have a Pac-Man ghost with arms and legs. And it just felt natural that they would be screaming all the time. <laughs> okay. Well, this is what we're gonna do. I guess this is the plan. Scream and make these platforms. <laughs> Score. Oh, okay. The pen almost rolled off. Okay. So, uh, I guess we just start with figuring out the size of the platforms. I, I feel like I can comfor comfortably say that this is too small. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, and four. So let's just uh, save as, 
Um, and why I'm not doing control shift S is because I've had problems with other programs hijacking those keys. <sighs> it's really annoying. And I just haven't had the energy to like figure it out. Okay. Uh, so what can we call this level? Platformer? <laughs> Flatformer? No. Let's just call it platformer for now. And then let's just uh, uh, ba -ba -ba. it's good that I know the alphabet. <laughs> Where is it? Am I actually blind? Also the music. Wait, didn't I save it? Oh wait, did I save it in the wrong folder? What? There it is. <laughs> okay. Let's fix it. <clears throat> I think today maybe I should just go and make some tea. Okay, also the music. Like it's when when the tab isn't opened, um, it's like a, it just like um, it stops loading new songs. So I need to scroll down a ton on the list. It's very weird. Anyway, <clears throat> let's remove all of the score objects except one. So we have that. We can remove that. Oh, I just realized maybe I've forgotten to change the uh, tutorial screen in a lot of these levels that we've made. I need to go through and uh, check that out. Uh, didn't we listen to this? Okay. Okay. Platformer, oh god. <laughs> Let's just do it for all of them. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Mesh Collider. Ground. Ground. And this is heaven. So, this one. I need to clean that up. <clears throat> I have way too many of them. Oh, I need to enable debug. It just spawns a lot of things that, um, and it, it spawns a lot of things that are needed and it sets up the players and stuff. That's why I keep talking about it so much. Okay. Uh, it might be a bit small. So let's just do it. Let's try this. What I'm looking for is for it to be able to like comfortably um, like for the player to pick up enough speed. And it also needs to be like big enough to hold quite a few of these score objects. Okay, maybe a bit more actually. Let me, uh, yeah. Let's do one more. Maybe it's too much. 
No, that seems fine. Yep, we can fit some stuff here and the ramps. This seems good. Okay. Yep, I did it. Um, then we need some ramps. Um, I guess we have these, but I don't super love them. Hmm. Let's try them. Let's enable that so we can select through it. Oh, it's not mirrored. Oh, that didn't look cut proper. Stories about exes calling up brides on their wedding day, confessing all the love from a once upon a time that they threw away. And the fear mm -hmm. that I'm fighting mm -hmm. is constantly rising in the back of my mind. Is that you'll finally open up your eyes, that you leave me Here we go. another guy. Yeah. yeah, it's a scary truth that maybe I don't know. Maybe. Okay, what would the gameplay elements be like if, or gameplay complications be if the jump is narrow versus the jump is wide? If the jump is narrow, more players are likely to collide when they're jumping. But if the jump is wide, there's more of a tactical advantage. But should you have a tactical advantage? Like, you maybe you screen peek and see that oh, on this side there's more of them left, so you jump here to collect them. Like another player is up here collecting stuff, and you're like, oh, I can I can grab these. Versus chaotic small ramps. I think chaotic is what we should go for. So the original the idea of having wide ramps is probably not a good idea then. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We're doing this. Uh, and I think they should sit like that, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay. And then we just need to position these out. Like that. The sun shines fading slow. Snowflakes on the ground again. The rain. Is this music filtered? No, it was not the right music. <laughs> uh, okay. There we go. That's the right music. Heaven, all base colors. The the old base color thing is just if you can see there's a pattern here, right? Like a blobby pattern. It's just what colors that should apply to. So I had uh, different versions of it. So um, I had it so it only did it on the white stuff, 
only did it on the orange, only did it on the gray. Uh, and then I did like the cloudy ground. So on uh, the hub world, you drive around on the clouds. And I was thinking maybe I should only have it there, which didn't really work out. Then all the base colors, the base colors are the white, the orange and the gray. So I'm only doing it on those right now. Um, it just means that, um, let me bring it up. Okay, so this, these two, so we have the white, the orange, and we have the gray. It looks black here, but it's because of how I do like the, the color range in the game. So it just needs to be darker here. Like you can see that this orange is a lot darker than that orange, right? Same goes for everything. Um, but so these are the base colors, these three. Then the gold is not a base color. The box is not a base and all of that. So like pots, uh, plants, dirt. Uh, oh yeah, I think the rug is actually also, yeah, the red from the rug. Maybe, oh, maybe the gold is part of the base color set. I don't think it is, okay. Anyway, it basically just says that only the, the base set of colors that I use uh, for pretty much everything that doesn't move um, can have that effect on it because it's, it, it's like a world scale thing. It's like uh, if you imagine like a, a three dimensional field of noise and then you just scale it up and then you blur it. That's pretty much what it is. So if you see me moving this, you can see, right? So if I have moving platforms, I can't really have this, this on them. Um, it would just be a lot of like visual noise for the player. Okay, so. Um, I guess now uh, we could actually just clean this up. We don't need all of these. <clears throat> we have the ramp and everything. And if we need something, we can just grab it. Okay. So let's just grab this now. And let's figure out the distance that we can have between these. And uh, we'll figure out these jumps as well. Oh, oh, that's interesting. That actually got mesh collider and everything. And then material. Um, let's also uh, call this platformer and add it to build settings. Adding it to build settings just means that I can load that level. It's like a part of the game now. It's a bit strange how Unity does it, but it, it checks out. Oh, it's not very high, this jump, but maybe that's good. Okay, we could make this longer. Uh, it needs to be kind of forgiving though, because this is um, the easiest difficulty. I, I don't want people to get too punished. Say I've collected something here, gonna go over to this one. Uh, that might be a bit much then. And <clears throat> I'm thinking, okay, yeah, 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 wait, let's do this. And make this the active one. 
link uh, object data, I believe. So if I change it, I change all of them. So I want to make this jump more of a jump. So let's just see what we can we can do here. Something like that, maybe. Maybe that's too much. I want players to be ready for, um, or not ready, but get some kind of practice. Like being able to co control the box in the air is super important in this game. So I want to give players like opportunities to do it more. Oh wow, okay. Let's see how, can we make it from here? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we can expand the, the jump distance a bit then. Like that, a few meters. <laughs> you can, you can get some air. Holy cow. Yeah, this is an easy jump to make. Okay. Uh, so a little bit longer and I think that's okay now. Um, so could we then um, hmm. yeah okay um, I'm just thinking uh, I'm just gonna do this <laughs> so I'm a scary cat uh, oh yeah I shouldn't do it yet rotate 45 degrees did this screw it up? Yes, it did. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, okay, so active element is what I need then. Right? Yeah. Okay. Could this be okay as a distance? Oh. Oh, hello. Why though? Why would it do that? I don't remember changing them at some point. I didn't even think about this, but it's kind of nice that you only have two paths to go. Uh, I do want to move this though. So it's like this maybe. Um, let's give these some collision some material um, set them up proper uh, da, 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 da. okay so let's try it out <clears throat> oh that looks kind of wild Yeah, I think they will be fine. 
it feels like you won't make it but yeah it's pretty forgiving okay uh, so let's uh, let's see we can remove that one uh, we have these that we don't need anymore and then <clears throat> um, I guess this platform we need to apply that or wait could we make this non-destructive that would be so so good <laughs> um, I don't like that loop cut <laughs> Come on. I'm not allowed to cut. There we go. Um, okay. <clears throat> so I guess we... I'm, I'm going to try and see if I can merge these in a nice way. Uh, we'll see though. So I'm just thinking we could loop cut that. Just extrude. Um, ba -da -ba -boom. Yeah. Um, so let's boolean uh, the subject. And exact. It's not gonna merge very, <laughs> very nice. I mean, it, w it merged, but it's like it doesn't look great. <laughs> mm. Yeah, screw that. Let's do it manually, I guess. So let's just do a uh, mesh bisect. And then we just remove these. And then I need to um, <coughs> split these proper so that they follow the same edge sort of a thing. There we go. And then same thing here. Ooh, wait, is it not centered? Hold on. What? I thought that would, was dead center. I'm very confused right now. Hmm. That is very strange. I guess we'll do this and ignore it. <laughs> I don't get time for that. <laughs> okay. Also, I guess we need to... Uh, actually snap this to grid anyway otherwise we're gonna be in trouble uh, down the line when we merge this same thing there and here 
That looks good. Noise. <clears throat> I guess we could. Uh, oh, wait. Let me turn that off. Could do like this. Yeah, could look good. And then we just recolor it to orange. fast we don't even need to optimize this mesh for the podium versions I think we're good wait was I rotated or did I rotate what was that did you see that hold on look at player one here It's not position proper, is it? No, wait. Oh my god. <laughs> How did I manage to do that? That's wild. What? That's crazy. Oh, was that when I loop cut or something? Should be good. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Did I crash it by clicking that? <laughs> no. What is happening? Ah, oh, come on. Really? Okay. One second. I'm just going to fade out and fix this. Wow, the entire program is actually... It's completely broken. Wow. Okay, that's wild. Uh, force quit it. There we go. And I'm starting it up again. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. I just noticed something. The ramps are not aligned. <laughs> oh yeah, because it's such an old uh, save. Here we go. Haven't saved in a while. Always a good move. Let's see. Um, <laughs> material. And tag. And layer. Here we go. This whole place nice. I think the start melts in really nice. So let's place out some score objects. <clears throat> um, so I'm thinking, should we figure out like a pattern to this?
Uh, we do have a center, but it's really off. <laughs> okay. So maybe we do it like, like that. Yeah, I think that can work. It's really, <laughs> it's really hard to get them centered now. I don't feel like any of these are centered. <laughs> uh, no. Ooh, I know what we can do. <clears throat> uh, we make a new uh, game object. Empty game object, uh, object, score object holder. And then we have this in the center. Oh, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Um, wait, where's the other score object? There it is. Maybe this is the one we start from. Uh, so I was thinking we could just be like making this as a square. Also, we can actually just do it like that so we can grid the things really easy. Right? <laughs> this is kind of cheating. But so I was thinking then we could just be like, oop. <laughs> so we just, just need to figure out like the distances that we want. Uh, so let's push these in a bit. We're a bit too far, far out. And then we try rotating it again. Is that pretty much center? I think so. Let's try it out. I don't know if we need more at the center of the uh, place. Oh, <laughs> they're also in the ground. <laughs> Yeah, I guess you... Hmm. Maybe we need some in the air between the platforms. Okay. So... Uh, ba, ba, ba. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I keep doing a shift D to duplicate it, but that's not... It's not what you use in <laughs> Unity. Uh, I think that's good. And... Is that it? I think so. And like that. It's a lot easier having them all under one uh, game object. Like in groups. So you collect some of these. Maybe you jump over to the next one. Maybe it's a, ah, oh, just missed it. Maybe it's a good thing to like keep your momentum. We need to remove the ramps on the sides. Oh, <laughs> for sure. And let's do that. Um, yeah, I have this one as a reference or as a, another one that I can use, um, when we make the limbo version of this. There we go. 
I guess we can also hide this. <laughs> So that's that, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah, I've, I wanted to add um, add some in between the jumps. Um, I guess we dupe this and do uh, ba -ba -ba, like that, and then we just remove. Nope, I wanted to zoom in on all of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we keep just like the middle ones and then we just mush these together like that oh that's not even there we go that's not centered <laughs> it's so hard to tell. I guess we can do like this. It looks more centered, right? Making things diagonal is always so weird. Oh yeah, I should also um, fix the height. Things like that. You can get pretty wild with draw calls for these because uh, each score object is its own. Oh yeah, that's the correct height. Uh, <laughs> I got it, but... Sweet. Yeah, that works. Okay. Uh, so let's um, do this. And we'll just grab one of these and position them here. Is that one centered? It doesn't look centered, <laughs> does it? No. <laughs> no, that's good enough. Yeah, I think that's centered. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. Um, so I guess that's that. And then we have the right tutorial side. Uh, we have the name set up. We have added it to the build. It is correct setting. We turn off debug. And then uh, I guess we should just write off make um, the limbo version of this so platformer 2 we just call it that for now and then uh, yeah let's make the other one yeah so go in here limbo platformer 2 oh actually Let's go back to this file <clears throat> and make a copy of all of this. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Actually, save as and we do low res version or low poly. Low poly. We need to have the version for the podium. So we just, uh, oh yeah, we need to apply the modifiers. Oh, and that's for all of them, isn't it? Because I use mirrored. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> that's, oops, that's fun. I really wish that I could do it like this. But I make object data single user and apply modifier. That's okay. <laughs> I don't know. It I can't seem to figure out how to apply modifiers to multiple objects. 
I read somewhere that on a lot of buttons you can just like shift click. Oh, whoops. Um, did I miss a lot? Oh, we're fine. Um, and that applies it to all of the objects. Seriously? Okay. <laughs> I did miss some. <laughs> Holy cow, come on. There we go. <laughs> okay. Let's merge these. And merge by distance. And then platformer low poly. There we go. Then we can open recent and start doing this one. Um, okay, so what we wanted to do for this, uh, <laughs> I forgot that I drew that. Okay, so this is the, the version that we did now. Now we want to make this version. Um, and it's gonna be like more of a height difference to them. So let's try and figure out what that height difference will be. Could this be good? Okay, we need to switch out the, the mesh as well. Uh, Select the asset. Oh, you can do that. Makes sense, I guess. Um, limbo platformer two. Oh yeah. Uh, bu bu bu. Blap. Can't do that. Don't want that, don't want that. Thank you. There we go. So I just don't want it to bloat with unnecessary things. It can get really out of control. Um, if you let it import all of the things for each and every file that you have. Um, so I just tend to never import um, any of those things. Uh, oh yeah, we're doing limbo now. So it should be limbo. There we go. Then we set up this to be limbo and we name it platformer two and enable debug. But that already looks pretty cool. That you see the height differences so much. Ah. That's, that's rough. Um, I really, really do want you to be able to do that. Um, but you need to be able to do it from like here, I think. Yeah. So we need to modify the ramps then. Um, so let's just grab one of them. Uh, ba -ba, and I guess we can rotate like this because we're at 45 degrees so we can get a right angle and then um, let's just grab it and pull it a bit <laughs> we can't get a proper grid though that's the sad part of doing it like that So this should be way easier. <laughs> okay, let's try it from a shorter distance. Oh yeah, we don't even have this. Okay, here we go. We'll stop at this. That's a lot closer. Maybe that's fine. Maybe not. <clears throat> maybe more like that. Maybe the, wait, maybe the ramp bit is too harsh. 
Yeah, should be more like that. linked <laughs> I guess not so what happens if you just gun it whoa okay um. so this one is not linked this one doesn't seem to be linked either and this one. And this one. Jesus Christ, are like barely any of them? <laughs> How can so few of them be not linked? Or uh, actually linked? Okay. Um, oh yeah, what linking does is that, you see, like they're all... If I do it on one, all of them do it just makes it way more convenient um, okay so then the other thing I wanted to try was <clears throat> can we just have it be a ramp off or um, no ramp to drive off the, the edge or would that be too much so if we go over this Whoa, you jump really far. Uh, is this enough? No, <laughs> it's not even close. Okay, so we do need the ramps. Maybe we should actually have different ramps there then. Because this is a bit... A bit overkill. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit overkill. Um, so actually, maybe it was... A blessing in disguise kind of a thing so now we have wait are these linked to any those two are <laughs> those are linked <laughs> okay um, so maybe we want the ramp up to be linked object data Wait. Okay, yeah, no, that makes sense. I think. Yeah, 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 okay. I was just getting confused. As per usual. <laughs> um, like there. And then this one should be... Like that. Yeah. Just using the edge of the viewport. <laughs> um, okay, and then this one needs to be the same height up. Right. And we give it ground collider or um, <coughs> the ground material, ground tag and ground layer. And the music, music stopped, <laughs> sweet. Here we go. Mm hmm. That looks pretty cool. Ah, 
<laughs> that wasn't even close. Wait, is this the wrong ramp? Or is this the right ramp? I need to double check it. Yeah, it's the right one. Maybe it does need to be more than, or did I raise it too high? Yeah, I raised it too high. <laughs> that was why. Should be like that. still hard um that's fine i think that's okay so let's grab these and just put them at the correct height and same with these So I put these at Y11, let's do the same here. Maybe that's way too high. Yeah, that's way too high because it's, <laughs> it's not the right ones. They were just needing a little bit of boost, I think, like that. And then these can be Y11. That's Y7, Y7, let's try that out. And that's good. This jump is still feeling too much. For some reason, like I just don't get enough speed for it. I don't really know why. I guess I just don't get enough of a run up for it. But I could uh, get all the score objects just fine. Um, as long as you're jumping up, when you're jumping down, it seemed uh, a lot harder to catch them. So I guess the same thing goes here, right? Yeah, you jump over them. But I think that's fine. Um, okay. So, um, I guess we need, um, no way, we don't need that. We need just these. We wanted another set of them, right? Yeah, these two. And then for hell, we'll do this and this. Um, so we need to put ramps here. And we need to put ramps here. 
and this can be removed and that can be removed yeah we don't need that anymore okay This setup, I've done it so many times now, it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Still get it wrong sometimes, that's the weird part. <laughs> okay. Um, so we need... Uh, I guess we can grab them like this. And then we dupe it not shift <laughs> it's control there we go and then if we grab these they are also the correct height for these and this one is correct for this this one is correct for this Right. <clears throat> I guess while we're at it, should we also make the version for hell? Can we make it up here? Yeah, nice. I feel like on oh <laughs> nice are there any other ones okay let's just uh, go through them Yeah, this all seems good. Okay. Uh, so we've done that then. Nice. Um, yeah, screw it. Let's do hell as well. Platformer 3. Oh yeah, and before we do anything, we need to save this as um do low poly and oh god <laughs> we're gonna have so much to mod or to apply is there wait hold on i need to try something uh blender repeat Previous action. Repeat last. Edit. Repeat last. Shift R. So if I select this and go Shift R. Modifiers cannot be applied to multi-user data. <laughs> ah, dang it. I could almost be lazy. Okay. Let's apply it all. Or let's do this. Blender apply modifier on multiple objects. Convert to and choose mesh object um, c 
convert to and select mesh. Oh. Oh, nice. Hells yeah. Okay. My life became a lot easier. Holy cow. Okay, so then we do this. Merge by distance. We call this. No, we just rename it. Uh, platformer to low poly. There we go. Then we open recent platformer to shift S, go up. Uh, oh, do I not have a folder yet? Oh, I guess I don't. Okay, hell. Hmm. That's interesting. Uh, and then all we need to do is we need to get these ramps them here do like that and then we need like this we need to be at that height right like that then we need ramps for here and we need ramps for here like that this is looking kind of wild i dig it um and i guess that's it <laughs> <laughs> then we just need the setup so we are on platformer 3 it's a level name sweet so we can start doing this so before we do that let's just do this so it's all hell and we are in hell as well I don't think I've done the setup for the lighting let's see what it looks like Yeah, no, there's no lighting setup, so it's just red. The idea is there's going to be lava below and stuff like stuff like that. You know, very very typical hell. We're not we're not breaking new grounds here. Oh yeah, uh, I shouldn't even use this one. We should be using this one. And we need to disable all of this. No bloat, please. There we go. And then hell, and we need a mesh collider. Guess what? It's ground, and it's ground, and it's ground. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> okay. Um, so now we need to, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I guess we ne just need to uh, position these uh, score objects. Let's just collapse all of that um, to make things easier. So we'll take this. Let's just uh, view from the top. And position it proper. Is that centered? No. Yes? Yeah. No, it's not centered. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> And let's copy it here. There we go. Then we need these. We need them to be here. All right. Then we need them to be at that height, I think. 
Yeah. Sweet. Then we take... <clears throat> um, oh, I guess... Yeah, we just copy these here. Like that, I think. Yeah. Or, hmm, that's awkward. Maybe it should be like that. <laughs> None of them fit. Okay, whatever. I think that's good enough. Um, then we take these guys and position them here. Uh, why I'm doing this and not like rotating them is because I don't just want to rotate and <laughs> rotate them. That's it. That's why I keep grabbing like adjacent ones. <laughs> and that's that. Yeah. Oh yeah, the height of them. Is that correct? I don't think it is. Yeah, it should be like that. And these needs to be like that, I think. Yep. Yeah. And that's correct, that's correct, that's correct, and that's correct. Uh, let's call this hell 3 as well. Add it to build settings. Let's try it out real quick. It looks really cool that you can't really see all of them, that there are so many now. Uh, wait, that's not high enough. <laughs> okay, wait, so there's a difference there. Oh, because I've put them at the same height as these guys, okay. Oh yeah, we need to figure out a new height for these, right? For all of them that go... Yeah, 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 okay, okay. So all of these... And I guess this one, yeah, and this one, yep. So... Okay, let's, let's be smart about this. Or try to. <laughs> uh, so... All of these... So the difference between this one, this one is at 13, 11. Does that mean then that it's just two different or two difference? So it's 11, yeah, nine, okay. So I guess that just means that we should be at 15. then they all should be correct. Because I'm following a linear curve, right? Let's get some speed. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. It is a linear curve. Sweet. And I guess that's that. Uh, we need to make a low poly version, which isn't really much of a low poly version. It's just merged. <laughs> I just don't want to um, have them all be uh, be merged in the uh, actual one that I'm using for the levels. I don't like uh, destructive workflows. So convert to mesh. Sweet. 
Push for distance. So we're sitting at 1.4, yeah, 1478 vertices. It's a bit much for what I want um, the uh, podium ones to use. So in, a, in an ideal world, maybe I should have gone through them and optimized these a little bit more. But I, I also have like a buffer that I made for um, for the podiums. So some levels I can go over it and it should be just fine. Um, as long as like most of them are following the rules. So let's uh, just check this out proper. We need to remove this. Uh, and I just realized maybe I need to go through the um, the other ones, the low poly ones. Um, so we have platform a low poly. Yep, yeah, it had all the stuff. That's no good. Then um, Bimbo. Yeah, it was the same. Sweet. Okay, let's go to the hub world. Um, mm -mm -mm. Then, uh, oh yeah. Let's get out of that. Isom Is it called isometric view? Perspective? Iso yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we need to make a new uh, podium. So let's just grab another one that is a score object one. And prefab, select asset, sweet. Uh, so we dupe this, call it platformer. Let's open this and modify it. Oh, that was slippery. Let's grab the mesh platformer. Wait. Oh, I forgot to name it. Yeah, yeah, that's why it didn't show up. Platformer three low poly. There we go. And then if we just scale this up a little bit. Something like that. Looks good. Change the name. It does change or uh, update this title manu or automatically, but when I'm in the editor, uh, it doesn't really happen until I actually play the game, so it can be a bit disorienting if I don't do it, so I just tend to update it manually. And the level is called Platformer. And it is unlocked by default, sweet. <coughs> And let's grab this, put it in here, and grab the tournament list of levels for heaven. And add that to the list and position it. So it should be here now. Yep. Sweet. Then we can go to Limbo. And we will uh, do, 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 do. Let's uh, do that and go to Limbo. We just make a copy of this and move it over here called Platformers 2. And then we get Platformer 2, low poly. Uh, so this is this is where we use the low poly ones and that's why they need to be like fairly optimized Because uh, there's a few of these on display at at once 
I guess it's about 24. Um, I just realized this is floating a little bit. <clears throat> it should be floating a little bit, but not too much. Uh, there we go. So we got that. It's called Platformer 2. And the level is called Platformer 2. <laughs> Again. And this is Limbo, so they should be using the Limbo colors. Like that. So let's just go to this one where we have the limbo levels. So we see it get positioned. So we have platformers too. Oh, there we go. And tournament limbo. And have this be positioned. There we go. Looks pretty go good. <laughs> uh, also, I should disable that script. Because it's running during editor. Or in editor. Um, and then, yeah, yeah, let's go down here. Haven't I added any levels here? I thought I added one. Or is that the campaign one? Hold on. Yeah, okay, here we are. So you do have the mini golf one. Um, ba -da -ba -ba, so then I guess we do this. And then platformer. Let's do platformer three. And then we do the mesh. Uh, platformer 3, low poly. Sweet, that doesn't need to be rescaled. Then we just change the material to hell. Oh, they kind of melts together, I didn't realize that until now. That's not super good. Maybe it looks better outside of uh, this, where the lighting is already kind of dooky. And the level is called platform 3. Uh, so let's put this in hell. And then tournament hell. Add this. Position it. Thank you. Yeah, it does kind of melt together. Oh, and I haven't... This one doesn't have the correct materials. On the... Uh, oh, no, wait. Yeah, no, it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, here we go, hell. Yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. Hmm. Also, I need to change the uh, color on the font here. Uh, let's, let's check that out now, because I have done this before, this setup. Yeah, so I do use the orange one. What is it called? Uh, solid gray shell. Okay. So uh, any of the orange ones should be good. Let's fix that. Um, is it called font? No. Cool. Uh, solid. So, solid white, gray shadow. Um, oh, what is happening here? Oh, are these not... Wait, is this not... Oh, it's not the... Um, what's it called? Um, The mesh text renderer? I haven't updated that. That's not very good. Huh. I guess, could we just do this? Or how will that look? Yeah, 
<laughs> it doesn't look good at all. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, that doesn't work at all. It's really bad. Um, let me just grab this color text again. I'll do this off screen or off stream. Um, I'll get the all these set up proper. Um, I need to uh, change the renderer and stuff for these. Okay. I think that's that then. Let's do a quick uh, debug run once I just noticed these. Don't have the correct material. Should be set to hell. Uh, same here. Here we go. Everything else looks good. So let's just do a quick test run. We can actually do this with uh, in-game audio, I guess. Let me just uh, mute the music here. Uh, and let me enable this again. Uh, so let's just do a tournament. And I guess, man, I, I need to create an artificial way of unlocking uh, levels. Oh, that's kind of loud. Uh, hold on. Okay, like that. Uh, so let's first of all, we'll do um, that unlock bug need to get fixed it's really bad this one makes no sense to me <laughs> like there's no different with that setup and i can't really reproduce it very easily or i haven't been able to reproduce it it just happens randomly like that um okay Yeah, 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 yeah. So where do we have it again? It's here, right? Yeah. And I haven't seen Reverser in, oh wait, did I? Okay, the colors won't be upgraded or updated properly. We need to go through and do this, okay. Oh, I haven't added that to build settings. Oh, I forgot to do that on the first ones. Okay. This is why it's really good to play test. Um, what? Where is it? <laughs> what happened to it? Didn't I? Am I going crazy? What's up? Multiplayer heaven. Is there no platformer here? There's no scene called platformer. <laughs> okay. Um, well, that makes sense then that he can't open that scene. I guess I must have um, saved over instead of uh, done the right thing. Okay, that's no big deal. We can fix that. So let's grab platformer two. And just call this one platformer. There we go. Uh, Add this to build. It's called platformer. It's in heaven. Oh yeah, and had debug enabled on them. 
that's not very smart. And then uh, we just go to this asset. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. Oh yeah, and Limbo is right, or Heaven is right in here. Um, platformer. There we go. There we go. And then Mesh Glider. Ground. 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 <laughs> And this is heaven, all base colors, sweet. And then we just need to fix up the score objects, right? So this one should go, that can go, that can go, that can go. <laughs> and then we need to fix the height on these. So I think they were at like nine before. Oh, maybe, wait, is that correct? Maybe it's just five. Uh, let's just grab the base scene and enable debug. We just test the height out. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so five was the good height. Also, we can uh, keep keep forgetting. We can disable that and enable the music again, so we don't get brainwashed <laughs> listening to the same songs over and over. Uh, so five in height. These should also be at five, and these should be at five. And that, that's good, and that's good. Oh yeah, this thing over here. <clears throat> the backup mesh, <laughs> don't need that. Uh. <clears throat> and we have it on the build and everything, cool, cool, cool. All of this should be good. Um, but okay, so oh yeah, it was a reverser. Uh, limbo. Uh, what? Did I not put reverser scene in place? Maybe I didn't. I'm a mess today. Holy cow. Okay, scene. Yeah, reverser, there we go. Yeah, so this one needs to be set up proper. So it's in limbo. It is still speed. And these two meshes needs to be uh, limbo, there we go. Everything else is fine. Sweet. Okay. No, wait. We can't play from here. <laughs> oh, also, did I even disable the debug? I, I need to get a better setup for this, don't I? I, I keep screwing this up over and over. Uh, platformer, debug, yes, it should not be a thing. <clears throat> um, do we have it enabled on this one? We do. <laughs> do I have it here? No. Okay. Do I have it here? Uh, platformer? Yes, we do. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay.
There we go. Let's try it out. And it's all the way over here, right? Yeah. But yeah, I need to change it so it's not levitating so high. It gets... Uh, okay, so when you drive up to them, you see how they like levitate a bit more? That's why they need to be at like a nicer height to begin with. So it's easier for the player to see. Um, oh yeah, it's over here. Let's grab that one and this one. Fingers crossed, everything works. That works. Yep. Not really collecting a lot of points, am I? <laughs> I'm just, I'm so um, focused on like, are these ramps working or not? Did I screw anything up? <laughs> okay. Dang it. <laughs> Didn't I add it? I, I was so sure that I added it. It's... Did I not add any of them? Platformer 3. Was that really the... Oh my god, I didn't add any of them. <laughs> How did I forget that? That's just shameful. Okay, well, we know that the first one works, at least. Um, so let's just do that. Tournament, we only need two levels this time. Oh yeah, and we're doing Limbo. I can't w believe we're actually like halfway. I thought that I would not be able to get this many levels done. And this looks good in Limbo. The idea of this level is that you should catch the corpse and then drive backwards, but kind of, kind of sucks. <laughs> and I, I couldn't make the jump. I need to make that way more forgiving. I think the controls, um, or the, the box, like how it handles, used to be like better at driving backwards. It feels like it really just like, like I'm barely moving. Why is that a thing? I need to have a look at the code later. At least the levels load now. <laughs> These work. Oh, I'm not gonna make that jump, am I? Not even gonna try. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's kind of rough. I don't know if it should be easier or not. Hmm. Hmm. Let's let's fix up reverser. Uh, but up, uh, multiplayer limbo or reverser too, I should say. The first one is fine. So what I want to do is make this not bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I'm pretty much just, I feel like uh, I could just do this, right? And maybe we 
uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, remove this gap thing or uh, boolean. Right. Um, yeah, I think that's good. So let's smooth uh, this out a little bit. I think I'll just do this and then I'll just um, bevel it or whatever it's called. Uh, what is that called again? I keep forgetting. I only know it because of the shortcut. <laughs> it's kind of scuff. Let's just redo these as well. So we get them in a nicer way. Okay. So we do it like that. Oh, that's a bit much. Like that. And something like this. I guess, um, hmm, maybe we just separate these a bit. Yeah, then we just do some loop cuts here. And then I think we should be ace on this. Um, so I do need to just Telegraph, that this is a ramp. Oh, is the setup not done? Hold on. Uh, ba -ba. Yeah, I guess we do that. So this should be, is it this one? Sweet, okay. That's a messy one. Oh yeah, no, we should be using uh, Limbo. There we go. And then Limbo. There we go. Oh no, wait, what am I doing? There we go. <laughs> so... These should be dark. Let's just do this. And then, um, fingers crossed, check your deselect works here. Ah, uh, should we be like this maybe? Oh, hells yeah. That's perfect. Nice. We did have the perfect amount. <laughs> That's really satisfying. Okay, and this should all be the darker tone. I'm just sort of fake doing shadows just to help the player see that it's like actually a ramp. I found it being super, super useful for a game like this that has very, very little lighting. Um, also, this one should be using... Wait, is this a different material? There we go. Um, okay, is this set up proper? Yes, it is. Nice. Is this set up proper? No, it's not. <laughs> not nice. Uh, again, telegraphing is super important. Oh, is that the shortest path? No, it's not. <laughs> 
if you do control less click it, it just selects the shortest path but didn't really want to oh whoops so like if i select this one hold down control and left click it goes to this one and gets everything in the path super good stuff and these should be a brighter one. Yeah, and this is bright, this is dark. And this is not the right dark. <laughs> it's really noticeable that this is a really, really, really old mesh. Like maybe five years old or something from when I was working on the prototype. Um, okay. Let's see. That's a lot nicer. That's kind of funky though. Okay, let's grab the base scene. Enable debug, just two players is fine. And then uh, just try it real quick. I guess I'll, I'll try and do a flip. <laughs> it doesn't work at all, okay. Since this is the speed that you should be having. Yeah. That's a bit weird, isn't it? It's a bit bit of an odd bump. Okay, we can close this as well. Um, hmm. I'm not a huge fan of that. Let's see what we can do. So I guess we, we will just do what we did before and uh, uh, collapse this and redo it right uh, boop. and uh, I'll just do this <clears throat> so they won't overlap like crazy it's kind of hard to see but there's a bit of a, a chaotic moment here <laughs> around the sides. Probably have to redo that at some point. Oh yeah, that's not... <laughs> that's not how that works. <laughs> um, so let's pull this down. That's more like it I think mm, maybe it's a bit much maybe more like this yeah okay let's update it play test it before we texture or UV map I should say Get some good, uh, some good spin. Okay, that works. I think that's fine. Um, it should also, I just realized, I've been using, um, maybe, yeah, no, it needs to change. So what I tend to do in this game is anything that's a ramp should have the warning color or like the bright color. I haven't done it here and I haven't done it here, which is really weird. I, I need to fix it. <laughs> it 
it's really off uh, for me. I don't like it. Uh, so select, checker deselect. Dang it. <laughs> One more time. No? What's this? Uh, yes. There we go. So, um, I don't usually do this sort of gradient thing, but it kind of works on this because it's such a different level and you can't really see a lot. So let's do um, do, 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 do. let's just manually select these. Oh no, wait, no, those shouldn't be a thing. They should be gray. So that should be teal. And then I guess something like this. And then we do the same thing here. Right. Oh yeah, probably need to do this one as well. And maybe it looks a bit messy here. Maybe not this one. Maybe that one doesn't even need it at all. So we can just do this. I'm not a huge fan of how wide this one is. So. Let's just make it narrower. <laughs> Should probably do this then. And uh, do this. Yeah, that looks better. Let's test it. <clears throat> oh, needed a good posture check. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I was goblin moding it so hard. Wait, I just realized something. There's a little gap here. I need to fix that. Um, yeah, that looks really bad when you notice it proper. Oh, yep. It looks a lot more fun with the, the new colors as well. Okay. I'm happy with that. So let's get this fixed. Uh, it's a bit of an awkward one to fix as well but we can do it. New problem. Because Blender has a new tool and it didn't work, dang it. Because <laughs> nowadays you can uh, like slide, s uh, grab stuff. Let me show it. Um, so instead of like manually trying to follow this line, you can press G twice you see how it just like slides along it. Maybe I can do it like this, show it better. See how it slides? Yeah, it's super nice. So you don't have to be like, oh, maybe oh, am I following it or not? <laughs> like shift selecting so you do it nicer, but or shift grabbing, but super nice little tool. Uh, Okay. Thank you. It's a really, really old one. That's why it's so different from everything else. I was very experimental uh, when I was making these. Um, so I made two of these. Uh, we have Reverser 1 
that originally was very very long yeah, yeah yeah the one where you had to like drive backwards in like back and forth in a sort of rampy way let me uh, get that open because i'm done with this now anyway um yeah so originally you would go like this i think like three or four times it was a very long level but then I just cut it down to being this because uh, now you're very time limited. Uh, let's just do this though, because I again forgot, <laughs> forgot that. Um, okay, I think uh, I'm going to call it for today. We did get a lot done. A lot, a lot done. Let's see. Let's just go through it real quick. Um, so we did create the new, <laughs> oh no, <laughs> uh, okay. So quick recap, we moved reverser two to limbo, the one that I was just working on. Um, and then we replaced that with this platformer. Uh, so I can, let me open it up. Here we go. This level where you select score objects uh, or collect score objects. Maybe I said that, screw it. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's very basic. You just ride on these and jump between them to collect. Um, and then we made um, the Limbo version, Platformer 2, which adds two new platforms. And then it also introduces a height difference. So you need more speed and it's a bit more complicated to get between them. And then we also made the hell version of it, which has, which has two more platforms. Uh, so even more height difference. So we got three levels done today. Very, very good day in just two hours. Um, I guess I kind of need to start setting up. Uh, actually, it's not really a big focus point. I was thinking maybe I need to start setting up the lighting and stuff for the hell levels. Uh, but hell is not going to be in the early access. Um, that will come for the final release, I think. Um, yeah, that's the plan at least. Uh, oh man, it was a lot of people here today. Usually we're just like three people. We, we doubled it. <laughs> Hells yeah. <laughs> the big audience. Hells yeah. Okay, so I guess that's it for today. Thanks everyone for joining. It was a lot of fun today. And uh, I'll be here again tomorrow around the same time um and doing another stream so thanks everyone for joining take care bye 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 bye